we are at a point where we're starting to hit the ceiling of the capacity of the planet to support humanity. And we've never had to really address that challenge before. You can have all the amazing ideas, but if you can't take those to scale for the world, the ideas just sit there doing nothing. The dominant civilization of this planet is in a crisis of its story. The ability to bring such great minds to New Zealand, the convergence of collaboration. New Frontiers is about strengthening our collective vision for a more beautiful future. New Zealand has the opportunity to be the most diverse and inclusive country in the world. We can lead by example, but we need to do it together. Small actions, learning, finding what works, and slowly scaling it up. My work is always involved in wanting to make the world a better place for children and for the world around us. I had no idea why I was coming here really. I just thought it was amazing vision. And meeting all these people has just opened up possibility. What we need to do is help transform the economy by harnessing the power of impact. This organisation, it is citizens in action. My team and I have been working to solve some of the world's most pressing challenges for poor rural communities. My life's mission is to give every single person on the planet a free, practical education. By building a global teacher movement and bringing teachers together, teachers are becoming the solution to education and not seen as a problem. I went to work for the mayor of Los Angeles uh, about five years ago as the first chief sustainability officer. We're making a difference, creating a truly sustainable city. I'm really interested in how to leave a better world for my grandchildren. And when you phrase the challenge that way, you have to think about intergenerational legacy projects. If every child in New Zealand had two or three tablespoons of hemp seeds a day, we could dramatically increase the health of this whole country. We want you to take control and ownership of your data, and we want you to be able to share it with who you want, how you want. Technology has a lot of potential to be progress for society, but it won't truly be so unless it is fully contextualized by society, by culture, by humanity. So we need institutions that reflect the values we want because that's gonna build the technology for the future. To have the chance to get together and brainstorm and see the intersectionality of some of the issues that people are working on, uh, that's very, very exciting. We are in a fractured relationship with our own bodies, which means that we have no choice but to be in fractured relationships with the bodies of others. It's through this process of photosynthesis that we build soil and we build life. And all life as we know it is totally dependent on that process. Our job as EHF is to till the soil. Your job is to plant the seeds and help them grow. We talk about Aotearoa New Zealand and the opportunity we have as an incubation nation. What could we pilot here to mobilise an entire generation to explore these big issues that affect our future? There's never been as much reason as today to be nervous, but there's never been so much reason to be hopeful. Thanks to what has occurred here, the hope is dominating. I have to say the past few days has been one of the most profound weeks of my life. We have the choice to take positive steps forward. And the opportunity to do that is now.